here. Oh, the, um, Whoa, it's, it's working. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, good evening, Jonathan. Hey, hello, Isaac, how are you? Um, so tired. Really? Okay, okay. Don't worry, man. The end, the day is about to end. So don't worry about it. Okay, great. Somebody else, somebody else, how are you? Hello? Beatriz, are you there? Hello, okay. Heido is getting ready. Great. All right, very good. Very good. So class, welcome again. And uh, in today's in today's class, we are going to practice question intonation. So we're going we're going to practice we're going to practice how to pronounce questions correctly. Okay. Vamos a practicar la entonación en preguntas uh, cerradas. Y preguntas abiertas, okay? So uh, I want you to watch this video and then we write some questions and practice them, okay? So look at this, look at the screen, please. Look at the screen, please. Here it goes. In this lesson, participants would listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes-no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay. So now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. In this le okay, very good. So look at the screen and I want you to practice these questions with your pair uh with with the class here so for example the first one isaac can you say the first question um do you like to watch tv okay do you like to watch tv your intonation has to go up like do you like to watch tv okay, okay. so do you like to watch tv that's how it has to sound like all right uh next one let's hear somebody else let's hear um haido haido are you there yeah yeah I'm here okay great can you read the second question please mm, do you like music okay do you like music do you like music do you like music yes good very good now let's yeah. hear uh shane Thanks. uh can you can you say question number three? Shane, are you there? Yes, teacher. All right, can you read question number three? Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you play a musical instrument? Yeah, good. Very good. Do you play a musical instrument? At the end, your intonation has to rise. Do you play a musical instrument? At the end, do you, can you can you hear that? Musical? Yes, I play the uh -huh. the acoustic guitar. 
the but truth. I learn. You're learning, okay? You're learning. All right, great, very good. All right, now let's hear uh, let's hear Heiser reading the next questions. Okay. What program do you like? What programs do you like? Okay, great, very good. Next question uh, is on uh, is on uh, Beatrice. Beatrice, can you read the next question? Well, Beatrice, are you there? And a bit teacher. Yes, can you read the one, two, three, four, the fifth question? Question number five. What what video did you like? Yeah, what videos do you like? Very good, very good. And the next question, oh man, uh, next question, let's ask uh, Isaac to read it. Can you read it, please? Sure. Uh, which musical instrument do you play? Okay, which musical instrument do you play? All right, intonation sounds just about right. Very good. Very good. So now we will move on to the next to the next topic in the platform. So let's take a look at it. So here we have this. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Okay, so here's a listening exercise. And uh, this one, you have to complete it on your own. Okay, it's still listening. Lo tienen que completar ustedes, okay? So we will skip it. Vamos a pasarlo, okay? You have to complete it on your own. So let's get back. All right, section four, we'll still work in this. All right, somebody has a Facebook call. All right, so we'll listen, we'll listen about making invitations. And in today's lesson, we'll learn how to make invitations. So check this out. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to, and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. In this lesson, participants will... Okay, very good. So, now look at this. Let me show... All right, look at the screen. Look at it. Okay, great. So, in this, in this, uh, in this video, people make invitations. In this video, people make invitations like uh, to go out. So, please check. All right, check the words in here. I'm gonna put the words on the conversation, on the chat, so you don't have to use. Uh, so you don't need a Zoom, okay? So, for example, would you like? Would you like to uh, go to the movies? Would you like to move, go to the movies? All right, so we can ask this question. Would you like to go to the movies? Then we, also, we can ask, uh, Lick, we can ask another question like, 
for example, uh, do you want to have dinner? Okay. Do you want to have dinner? Do you want to have dinner, for example? Do you want to have dinner? So these questions are for making invitations. So now we will learn, vamos a aprender también, how to accept an invitation, like to say, oh, yes, that'll be great, or turn it down, or para rechazarla, like turn it down. So uh, to accept an invitation, we, use, we, can, we can use uh, this. To accept an invitation, we can say, that'll be great. That would be great. That'll be great. All right. So we can say, hey, that'll be great. Let's go. Or you can also uh, refuse or turn down the invitation. To refuse it, like to say no, you can say something like, uh, you can say something like, uh, in a very polite way, I'd love to, but I can't, but I can. You can say something like, I love to, but I can't, okay? Or uh, you can simply say, I'm sorry, I'm busy at that time. I'm sorry, I'm busy, busy at that time okay great so in the in this lesson what i want you to do is to make invitations okay for example in this in the listening in the conversation people are are as are making invitations to go to a to a soccer game Right, so you make invitations for soccer games, make invitations for going to the movies, to have dinner, to have lunch, or possibly breakfast, all right? I want somebody to please make an invitation here and uh, let's listen to one of your classmates, all right? So uh, let's have uh, let's have first Manuel. Manuel, can you make an invitation for the class? For example, I I can say, do you do you like to go to the to the park? Uh, would you like? You say would you like? Would you like? Would would you? Would yeah would. Would you like? Would you like mm -hmm. to go to the park? Yeah. Would you like to go to the park? Say a time. Say a time. Don't forget to, don't forget to state a time. Time. Like, would you like to go to the park in the afternoon, for example? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Again. Mm -hmm. would, would you like to go to the park in the afternoon? Great, great, very good. So I can say, oh yeah, that would be great. Let's go. Okay, or I can say, I'm sorry, I can't. Or I'd love to, but I can't. All right? I am, be I am busy. Yeah, or you can say what you are actually doing that time. Like, for example, uh, you can say, I am, I am, uh, for example, I am visiting my mother. Like, you can say, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm visiting my mother. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Look at the chat, please. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. I am, vi I am visiting my mother. <clears throat> so you can say that. To say no or if you if you want to go you can say right let's go uh let's meet you can say let's go let's go and you can also arrange a, a place where you are meeting let's meet 
at and you can say a place oh for example just say yes i like it yeah here we go yeah let's go mm -hmm. you can say let's go all right so go. now uh, let's work in small groups and uh, you make invitations okay with your okay. group okay great so let's work in small groups okay yeah all right here we go All right, everybody, please accept the invitation. All right. Uh, other question. Uh, do you want to go at my home? At watch watch uh, a videos. Watch videos. Yeah, that would be okay. Or you can say. You can say would you would you like to let me see. Uh, would you like to watch videos with me at home, or do you want to watch? Do you want to watch a movie at home with me, for example? Yeah, you can do it. Right. Yes, yes. All right, fine, great. Keep going, guys. Keep going. I know you can do it. Let me check the other groups. All right. Uh, and take the class at 6 a.m. Wow. I know for me. Um, uh, six. This is not not the God. Say again. Otra um, vez, I prefer to take the class 9 p.m. Yes. At, yes. At, and the first in the morning, 6, 6 a.m. Is this like this, this time? Uh, no. Uh, only 9 p.m. That is, would, would you like to start English at 9 p.m. or 6 p.m.? Like, I, um, I like, I like, being Italian. Okay. What about you, uh, Shine? Uh, I really, I, I feel great 9 p.m. Okay. Um, would you like to go to the movies tomorrow? Ah, uh, tomorrow is a uh, day of sport. <laughs> a sports day, really? Yes. Yeah, what are sports you watching? Day. Yes, I want because oh. I'm poor too. <laughs> okay. Ask me, Beatrice, or or you, Shine. Would you like to go party on Saturday? Great, good question. For me or Shine? And you. 
Me, okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, busy at the time. More when it is Sunday. Oh, Sunday. especially on Sunday. It's by special Sunday. Especially, especially on Sunday. Especially Sunday. Ah, okay, thank you. I uh, would you like tea or coffee? Uh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat, please? Um, I, I. Would you like? Close to the to the telephone or your computer because I don't understand. Sorry. Would you like coffee or tea? Okay. Coffee or tea. Okay. Do you want to answer Beatrice Shine? Oh, it's, it's for me. Okay. Uh, what day do you like? to take a, a special time with your parents? Everybody back. All right, very good, very good. Everybody back, is everybody back? Okay, very good. So we'll continue making invitations. We will continue making invitations and uh, this time, but this time we'll also learn how to respond to them in a in a in the correct way so check this out okay let me share this video with you so you can learn how to make invitations okay here we go By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus two plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus two plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. All right, very good, very good class. So uh, I'm gonna show you an example, or I'm gonna put this on a, on, a, on a better format so you can see it too. So for, to make, to accept an invitation, you can say, I like, I like to, or I love to. Eso es la contraction o la forma reducida de I would. Decimos I'd. 
I'd love to, or I'll, I'd like to, I'd like to go to her house, but I can't, but I can't, for example, to refuse one, or to say yes, I like to I like to go to her new house, for example. Nick, I like to. Eso es la contracción de I would. Okay? A contraction is the short form, o sea, la forma corta o reducida de un de una de una oración. I like to. I would love to. Okay? So, yeah, let's let's keep practicing, man. Let's keep practicing this. So, let me show you let let me show you the show you this on a better format so look at this look at this i'm going to show you this on a on a better format so you can remember how to respond okay so, solo para que recordemos cómo responder a las invitaciones, okay? So we're going to use, uh, I'd like to, but I have to. Por ejemplo, sí, van a decir que no. But if you can, it's okay. You can say, yes, I would. I'd love to, thanks. I really like to go, for example. So look at the examples here on my screen all right let me share my screen with you so you can look at it okay here it comes look can everybody see it okay lo pueden ver todos can you read it hello you guys can you hear it yes yes, yes can you see it okay very, very good so on your left hand, on the left hand, o sea, en el lado izquierdo, you have ans like affirmative answers, okay? Affirmative answers, o sea, que sí puedo, ¿verdad? Affirmative answers. Uh, yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd really like to go, okay? Let's practice, okay? Let's practice. So let's say, uh, would you like to go out on Friday? Okay, let's listen and repeat. Would you like to go out on Friday? Everybody. Everybody, please. Would you would you like to go out on Friday? Would you would like to go out on Friday? Yeah, would you like to go out on Friday? Y ahora las respuestas affirmative can be yes I would. Yes I would. Notice that la L, the L on wood is silent. O sea, la L, letra L on wood, no se pronuncia. Okay? So you say wood, wood, wood. Wood, no. Wood, no. no. Yeah, you say wood, no se pronuncia la L. Wood, wood, yeah, wood. wood. And, yes, wood. And, uh, wood. yeah, you say, yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay, and uh, also you can say, I'd love to. La contracción o la forma reducida de I would is I'd, I'd. You got it? I'd. So now let's practice and say, yes, I'd love I'd. to. I'd love to, yes, I'd. 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 I'd yeah. love to. Yeah, yes, I'd love to, thanks. Or just I'd love to. Uh, yes, I'd really like. Yes, I really like to go. Okay. Yes, I really like to go. All right. Ahora vamos a practicar Did las respuestas uh, negativas. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. The, the word D, when the, uh, uh, you speak English very fast, I do. Is, is very fast. In the, uh, Say again. The, the pronunciation. Uh, no, 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 is how to say um, we can understand. I'd as I this I'd when you say I'd, I'd like to, 
the I D. Do, yeah. You, last the D the, the last word. The last sound. Yeah. The last sound is very. Is the very, last song. Yeah. The last sound is is very reduced. Like I'd love to. Love Depend to. The, when the the contraction the 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 the, the yeah. word. Yeah, it depends on the word, but uh, I mean, it's the same. I'd, diga, I would, I would, o sea, la, la forma completa, I would, y ahora hagamos una contracción. I'd, 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 I'd. Okay, all right, good, good, very good. Now, vamos a practicar las respuestas negativas, okay? I'd like to, but I have to work. Ok, siempre para esto, para, para las, la oración extra que se le agrega a esas respuestas, vamos a utilizar alguno de estos verbos de obligación como have to, need to, or want to. Uno de esos verbos modales, ok. Have to, need to, want to. Ok, so, uh, for example, for example, let me ask you, let me ask you this, uh, let me ask you this, Isaac. Isaac, where are you? Okay, Isaac, uh, would you like to, uh, would you like to, would you like to go, would you like to go on, uh, let me see, would you like to go to the beach on Friday or let's say, let's say on Sunday morning? Would you like to go to the beach on Sunday morning? Yes, I'd really like to go. Okay, great. I, I really like to go. All right. That sounds good. That sounds good. All right. Let's ask uh, Leah. Leah, would you, let me see. Yeah. Would you like to, oh yeah. Would you, would you like to go to a soccer match on Sunday afternoon? Leah, are you there? Hello? Okay, let's move on. So, how about uh, let's ask let's ask Hiro 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 yeah. would, would you like to would you like to go to a soccer match on Sunday afternoon? Yeah, I I like I like to sorry sorry I like to but I have to make my homework. Uh, okay, very good. I like to, but I have to do homework. Okay. Yeah. Good. That sounds great. I like to, but I have to do homework, you say. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That sounds great. Pretty good, man. All right. Okay. So uh, I guess uh, we have to move on. Now, all right. And, uh, and have you making more invitations and use these structures. So if I was you, I would take a screenshot. See you for us. Tomaría un screenshot de esto para, que, para tenerlo, tenerlo a la mano, ¿ok? Pero recuérdense, recuérdense, cuando decimos, cuando aceptamos una invitación, we say, yes, I would. Or, yes, I would. I'd love to. Thanks. Uh, I really like to. I really like to go. Yeah. Pero para, digamos, de, eh, rechazar una invitación, we go like, I like to, but I have to work late. I right. like to, like to, but I, I have to, to. Yeah, I like to, I, but I have to work I late. Like to, I like to, I, but I, I have like to, to work but late. I like to, or but I, I like to, but I need to do the laundry, for example. Um, mm -hmm. So. Now let's let's continue and let's practice with other people, and uh, let's keep asking questions. Okay. Ahora ya sabemos cómo responder a las invitaciones, cómo aceptarlas y cómo eh, rechazarlas si es necesario. Right. So let's do that. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna make groups again. Piensen en actividades como digamos en, que se pueden hacer en la semana. Or, or uh, things that you can do, like, le voy a poner algunos ejemplos de actividades that you can do, uh, que pueden hacer juntos, así que, like, a group, okay? So you can think of invitations. Vamos a poner un par de actividades 
que ustedes pueden hacer así como en grupo y en las que pueden invitar a sus compañeros. For example, uh, have a coffee. Have a coffee. So you check on the chat, okay? Look at the chat. Have a coffee. Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Uh, let's see. Uh, take a walk. Take a walk in the park. Take a walk in the park. Uh, have dinner. Have dinner. Have breakfast. Now uh, have a have a drink. Have a drink. Mm. Is it the music? Yeah, probably, probably. But uh, we'd rather think about like things that you do when you go out. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or watch. I oh, went watch the movie. Yeah, watch a movie, or would you like to go to the uh, place? Mm -hmm. Go to uh, oh yeah, go on the to mall. The, yeah, go to let's put go to a place, place, and you decide which place. This is you complete it. Okay, you say lo completan a place. Uh, pues en lugar, the, the one you desire, would, would you like to go to the movies, uh, would you like to go, or would you like to go to Los Planes, okay? Or you can say, would you like to go on a tour, on a tour, would you, would you like to go to a, on a tour to, y dicen el lugar, verdad? Would you like to go on a tour to, uh, on a tour, to, if, uh, yeah, to any place, so you decide. Any okay. place. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. So now we will, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do breakouts again, and please use the activities on the chat, ask about the activities on the chat, and also respond, respond uh, the way we learn. Uh, yes, I'd love to. I like to go, or if you can't remember to refuse, you can say, I like to, but I can't. I like to, but I have to do this. For example, would you like to go to the park on Sunday morning? Um, I like to, but I have to do the laundry. I have to do the laundry. Uh, would you like to have dinner uh, on Friday? Oh, uh, sure, I'd love to, let's go. Or would you like to go to, uh, uh, would you like to have breakfast on Saturday? Mm, I like to, but I have to teach a class in the morning, okay? So, utilicemos las estructuras que vimos para, para responder y utilicemos las actividades que están en el chat, okay? Is, yeah, everybody okay. is everybody clear? Yeah. Yes? Yes, I understand. Great. Very good. Yeah. So let's work in groups. Uh, we're going to make, we're going to make uh, small groups one more time. Let's see. We have, uh, all right, two, let's make three, two to three people here. Okay, here we go. Please accept the invitation. Beatrice, join the group. Okay, let's do this. All right. Great. Very good. Yes, I really like to go. Mm, for the other question, would you like to go to the park? Mm, yes, I would. 
Yeah. Would you like have to drink to dinner? Sorry. Have, would you like to have? Uh, would you like to have a dinner? Have okay, dinner I'm only. Sure. Have dinner. Have would dinner. you like to have, have dinner? Mm -hmm. would, you, would you like? To, all right. Would you like have dinner? Yes, I would. I. How is it? I hungry. <laughs> In the negative form. Uh, yes, for example, yes uh, I yes I work. <laughs> right now in the negative form. Uh, for example, if I say, would you like go on a tour? In the in, a, in the negative form. Yes, I like. En la forma negativa, en la forma negativa, si le pregunto. Ah. Would you like would you like one no would you like uh, would you like to go to go um on a tour on a tour tour in the negative form what is your answer I I like to no, I, whatever I, I I really don't take the breakfast at 20 years ago. Can you okay. believe it? Mm, not much, but that's if you ask, <laughs> no problem. Okay. Yes, because uh, I stayed in the uh, primary, primary class and don't take the breakfast. And my mom is angry with me because I I don't take the the breakfast. Oh, okay. she tell me. Okay, I believe you. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you want to ask me, or do you want to uh, ask you right now? Okay. Uh, what kind of movie do you do you prefer? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, for example, I like to, but I have to work late, or but I need to save money. Um, Jonathan, eh, se podría usar ahí el wooden? Mm, uh, no, no, I wouldn't. No, you, it's okay. Yeah, you can say it, but it's uh, es un poco impolite. Okay, es un poco como cortante si se responde así. No, I wouldn't. Suena como que usted no está para nada interesado en lo que le están invitando. Oh, okay. Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo? Tenemos que dar una excusa. De alguna manera, sí. Uh, de alguna manera, sí. It, it sounds a bit more polite. Suena como un poco más educado hacerlo de esa manera. Ok. Uh, you can just say, uh, I'd love to, but I can't. Y ahí no le está diciendo qué va a hacer. It's not the other person's business. O sea, no es problema de alguien más que va a hacer usted. O sea, eso le va a decir, si puedo o no. You can say, I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. Se lo voy a poner en el chat. Uh, let me see. Chat to batteries, batteries, batteries. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. Okay. Puede responder así. Just that. Pero solo okay. decir, I wouldn't. It's probably, suena como un poco muy, muy, así, muy. Top, uh -huh. we un poco go my little Yeah. All right, you keep going. Okay. You continue. All right. All right. Yeah.
Is everybody back? Everybody back? Okay, great. So now I'm going to make I'm going to make some invitations, some random invitations and you respond to them. So uh, let's do it. All right. So let's ask let's ask uh, somebody. Let's ask Heiser. Heiser, uh, would you like to go uh, to go to a concert on Friday night? Yes, I. <clears throat> sorry. Yes, I really like to go. All right, great, great. Okay, good. And uh, hey, after this we can you can arrange it like. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, so let's meet at, all right, let's meet at Paseo del Carmen, for example. Let's meet at Paseo del Carmen at night, so you can make, like, give more information. All right, good. Now, Heiser, I want you to make an invitation to, uh, let's see, to Leah, and let's see if she answers, okay? Go ahead. Okay, um, Leah. Would you like okay. to go to uh, to a, a restaurant tomorrow at night? Yes, I will. Very good, very good. All right, sounds good. Now let's ask Manuel. Manuel, uh, are you there? Okay, maybe not. Okay, great. It's okay, Manuel. It's okay. Uh, Manuel, okay. it's your turn. Now I want you to make an invitation too. Invite, uh, let's see, invite Beatriz to do something. Okay. About the, the question, the sample question. Yeah, any of the questions. Yeah. Would you like to? Invitate. Mm -hmm. Make an invitation. Okay. Come on, Beatriz. Um, the question is, would you like to go to the park with your family and me tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Look, all right, better. I train. remember the time, teacher. Okay, yes, yes, good, good. It's okay. Very good. So, Beatrice, would you? I can hear, let's unmute. Beatrice, would you? I like. I like to, but I have to work. Oh, so sorry. She has to work. Sorry, yeah. yeah. It's okay. All right. Let's let's it's have. Difficult. Yeah, very good. Let's have. Uh, let's have. Beatrice inviting Isaac. Okay, Beatrice, you invite you invite Isaac to do something. Okay. Go ahead. Beatrice. Hello. You make an invitation to Isaac and he responds yes uh, or no. Uh, um, I said, Isaac. Uh, <laughs> I like to go to the beach on Monday. So you say, would you like, would you like to go to the beach? Would you like to go to the beach? Would you like to go to the beach on Friday? Yeah, it sounds good. Sounds good. Would you like to go to the beach on Friday? It sounds great. So Isaac, what's your opinion here? Would you like to go to the beach on Friday? Hello? Are you there? Isaac? Okay, doesn't respond. Yeah, so, yeah, probably he doesn't want to. Let's hear Heido. Heido, what about you? Would you like to go to the... Would you like to go with Beatrice? Yes, I will. Okay. Would you like? 
All right, pretty good. Thank you, thank you. Okay, class. So we're almost done, but uh, just just some uh, some instructions. Solo unas pequeñas instrucciones antes de que before we finish. Uh, recuérdense de completar. And I'm gonna double my screen. Voy a compartir mi pantalla. Eh, para que ustedes puedan ver qué es lo que tienen que hacer entre Jesus o, hoy y mañana, ¿ok? Eh, entre esos días, tienen, ustedes tienen que completar. You have to do, you have to do the, the knowledge checks. Vamos a hacer todos los knowledge checks de la, de la sección 4, ¿ok? Y el listening y reading, ¿ok? Debido al tiempo y a que se ha cortado un poco el curso, no lo hemos podido hacer acá. Entonces, eh, completen todos los knowledge check y los listening del, de la sección 4. Para que ustedes, eh, para, porque esos van a su promedio. ¿okay? Entonces, vayan completándolos. Eh, digamos entre, entre el día de mañana si tienen chance y también van a quedar pendientes los de las 5 ok ok All right. so vamos completando los eh, los reading los listenings y los knowledge check eso los van a ir completando entre esos días para que eh, les, les, o sea, les ayude en su promedio y salga que ya completó, que ha completado todo en el curso. Ok. So. Yeah. All right. So if I you have a question. Any, yeah, yeah, Manuel, please tell me. Excuse okay. me, excuse me, teacher. Uh, what about the homework I watch in, in, the, in, the, in the page? Mm -hmm. Progress uh, say homework, but I don't find. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that is that is true. That is true. I see it there in the in the heading of it. I did say in the in the how se llama? The progress. This is, this is homework. Pero eh, supongo supongo que eso de homework se refiere a que a los knowledge checks y a los listenings que uh, debido a la naturaleza de la clase que debe de ser un poco más comunicativa. No se completan, no se les pone mucha atención acá, sino que esas son cosas que usted debe completar por su cuenta. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Porque la mayor parte de la clase la, 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 la utilizamos uh, for practice, para practicar, para conversar y todo. ¿verdad? Entonces, yeah. todo yeah. lo demás, ahí dice homework porque despliega todo, toda la lista de, de, de toda la lista de de actividades, ¿verdad? Y ahí entre esas hay homework. Y eh, homework son todos los knowledge checks, eh, los listening, okay. el, el listening, la conversation y okay. el, el, la reading también, los readings. Así que hay una conversation okay. ahí que dice an invitation y también hay otra que dice Who's my date? Listening exercise. Ese listening exercise, ese lo tienen que completar ustedes eh, porque eh, es evaluado. Ok. So complete it too. Eso, les, eso, eso es parte de, de lo, de lo que, a lo que se refiere con homework. Because it, you, have, you have to complete it. Ok. So during your free okay. time, you, I know you're busy. You have plenty of things to do. But you, you take your time. Tomes un tiempecito ahí para hacerlo. All right? Okay. All right, very good, class. Very good. So, uh, you keep practicing this. Vamos a darle una ojeadita bien rapidita a la, a la sección 5, que ya vamos a entrar el día de mañana. Vamos a comenzarla. Vamos a, let's just uh, check what it is about we all together. Todos juntos veamos de qué se va a tratar esta sección 5. I imagine it's not, it's not a big deal. So. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah. Zoom, zoom. Yeah. Okay. Zoom. Okay, here we go. So, yeah. about your family. Okay, present, continuous. Yeah. 
Not a big deal, man. Y también aquí está el final exam. Este final exam también ustedes lo tienen que completar en estos días. Ok. okay. Para. Yeah. Ok. All right. Yes, so tienen como el, el mañana y el jueves para hacer eso y los, los knowledge checks. Ok. So, vamos a hablar sobre familias. Uh, vamos a hablar, me imagino que sobre los posesivos y también present continuous. O sea, cuando decimos, hablamos de cosas que se hacen al momento, que uno yeah. de expresarlas. Y uh, there is a little about quantifiers too. But that, that's not a big deal, again. Okay, so you, you yeah. take your time to practice and, uh, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, please ask, okay? okay? Okay. All right, all right, very good. So uh, let's call it a day here, class, all right? You all have a great evening, okay? Yeah. All right, good night. Oh. Good night to everyone and I'll see you tomorrow. Good Remember night, to see you tomorrow, home. teacher. Everyone. Bye, All right. class. Bye. All right, Bye. thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.